<laughs> I am live on YouTube today, okay? And I'm gonna be sharing to Facebook. So we'll stream there too, in case you're catching this on Facebook. I think I only get YouTube comments. I don't know. But anyways, enough with the chatter. So today I'm showing you, okay, let me back up. That's common, right? So I use primarily paint couture products and you know I have an arsenal of products that I like to use for my furniture refinishing and um, you know I kind of have my tried and trues and that even includes from well before I ever started representing any paint brands and actually that's probably better turn that down huh morning so um, I've been refinishing furniture for about four ish years professional or you know as a as a thing you know but before that you know I just did it here and there for because I'm cheap so um, I hmm. hey guys um, I'm here at Michaels or the craft store Michaels for me depending on where you are maybe Hobby Lobby Joann's something that I don't even know about but here I'm at Michaels see let me see oh I can't flip it can I flip it I can flip it I'm at the Michaels okay my local Michaels so this is where it all started right so before Dixie Bell before paint couture before any blah 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 this or that I just use stuff from Michaels and there's a few things that I refuse to stop using so that's why we're here because I thought you know not everybody um, You know, not everybody wants to order things or this or that or, you know, wait for them to come. You know, sometimes you want to just pop in the store and get something that you need. And so I'm going to show you my favorite things, my must-haves, my can't-live-withouts at the Michaels. Okay, so here's a little disclaimer. I am a little bit easily distracted. So if I see something pretty or shiny or that I really want to look at, I'm going to try not to get distracted. I'm going to try to keep my blinders on stick to the task at hand which is show you the must-haves the things all the things that you need when you go to the craft store for furniture refinishing home decor you know all that kind of jazz so here we go we're going to oh let's see let me flip this all right here we go read it all right i guess i should turn the car off right and grab my purse <laughs> um where's my purse Thing number one you need at the craft store is your purse or your wallet or your money or your credit card in your pocket, whatever. You know, you gotta pay for stuff, right? Now this is gonna be interesting because I've never actually walked through a public place before doing a video like this. So I feel a little cheesy, not gonna lie, but um, Put it back up if somebody comes around within six feet, okay? Um, starting over here, okay. This is gonna get intense. So, right here is the acrylic paints. Let's go a little bit further, 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 further. Okay, so check this out. 
adhesive stencil vinyl film. Now, uh, everybody always asks me, am I gonna sell my stencils? Well, no, ain't, go, ain't nobody got time for that. So if you have a Cricut, a vinyl cutter, a uh, Silhouette, any of those jobbies, um, I have some downloadable stencils or on Etsy, a lot of people sell their digital files that you can cut stencils out of for your home decor and furniture. There's adhesive stencil vinyl. I've actually never used this one in particular, but it's a thing. I use Oracal, by the way, if anybody wants to know. Oracal stencil vinyl, I think it's $6.51 maybe. So let's keep going. That's not a must have, I'm just showing you because I'm I'm like, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm like, my mind is going a thousand miles per minute. I can't focus. Okay. For real. Okay, so brushes, brushes, brushes. Obviously, you gotta have some artist brushes, which I could probably use some new ones, though, by the way. I'm just gonna go and grab these. Okay, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I like the quarter to quarter to half inch flat little jobbies. They could be straight across or they could have a little uh, beveled edge. I don't care, but you need those for gilding wax, okay? Gilding wax, painting scenery, free handing, that fun stuff. All right, let's see, any of this? Oh, 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 oh okay. Hmm. Must have number one. <laughs> Must have number one is, this is like liquid gold leaf, okay? For gilding. Um, you can use it in place of gilding wax on your deets, edges, corners, trims, anything you want to highlight with gold. This gold is brilliant. Okay, so yes, gilding wax is great. Metallic paint is great. But can you see the brilliance? Can you see how brilliantly beautiful this and it just applies it paints on like paint and then it dry, it's just perfect. You have to have I have bottles and bottles and bottles of this. Um, in fact, I'll probably get you another bottle. You can never have too many. Stencils, yeah, stencils. Okay, so is this, which, which paint is this? So this is not what I'm looking for. I'm gonna show you uh, three neat, fancy paint companies. My favorite paint from the craft store to paint furniture with, but we're not there yet. Oh, these. These jobbies are so great. They're actually little paint cups or water cups. Or water or paint for when you're painting, right? You put water in it, clean your brush, or you put the paint in it, use the paint. I use these for everything. <coughs> Let me just tell you real quick. So I use them for, A, when I take my hardware off of like a jewelry box or something that has screws that I don't want to lose, I put them in a cup next to my project so I know which hardware goes with which project. Or, Sometimes I turn them this way, upside down, and I use them as stilts for like jewelry boxes or drawers, you know, hold a drawer up. So I use them as stilts, and I use them to hold my hardware. Sometimes I use them for paint, sometimes, but you know, that's another must-have, must-have number two. It's like, what, $1.99? I'm going to go ahead and get two of those. Yep. Oh, okay. Must-have number three is coming up. Coming up. Let me find it, let me find it. Here we go. Mm. You're on here. Mm. So, must have number three, Design Master 24 Karat Pure Gold. This is the only gold spray paint I will use on my leg, not my legs, furniture legs, furniture feet, furniture toes, furniture toenails. I get that, you know, um, gold dipped look on the legs of my furniture, hardware. Okay, um, so as you can see, there's a lot of different metallic options for paints, okay? Been there, been there, been there, been there, been there, been there, done that, okay? Been there, done that. And this is the only spray that I will use when I want some gold, okay? Now, not paint, not for painting, for spraying, okay? Better get at least two more of those. Here, you do have that 20% off coupon, right? Um, oh, I should mention too, this one's a 24 karat pure gold. There's also rose gold, champagne gold, already have some of that. Super silver, don't use much silver. Gold metal's pretty. 
it's more of a uh, mm, brassy gold, whereas this is more of a true, rich, pure gold, as the name implies. So, brassier, more gold-er, okay? Um, and I think that's the only gold that they have. What is going on there? Yeah. Yes, yes. Let's see. Maybe our um, go-to paint is going to be stencils. You can never have too many stencils. Is that right? I saw the level sale sign. You can't pass that up. Oh, oh, oh. Is this must-have number three or four? 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 Um, okay, these little rollers, okay, they call it a stencil roller. Now, I've never noticed that. Usually it's just called a craft roller or something like that. It doesn't have to be this exact one, but. <coughs> <coughs> Throat's getting dry. Talk too much. You have to have these little rollers for stenciling stripes. Stenciling stripes. I mean, you have to have these. You can wash them out a couple times. Um, you know, I'm kind of cheap, so I wash them out a couple times and reuse them, but they're supposed to be disposable. Um, $4.99 plus 20% off. I mean, this is definitely a staple. I got loads of these. But I don't have any brand new ones, so I'm gonna get a brand new one. All right, here we go. Here is the furniture. This is all new here at the Michaels. I haven't been in a real store in so long. It's kind of insane, embarrassing too, but. Oh. Mm, I want, oh, okay, let me see if they have, no, not there yet, okay, mm -hmm. where are we, oh, okay, get my bearings here, um, I'm not going to say it's a must have, but, um, we're all out of Orleans and 3M, but spray adhesive, Super 77 is just fine, oh, okay. plus I do need some more of this. For the backs of stencils, Spick and Zia stenciling. The backs of stencils, they sell stencil spray adhesive, they sell stencil dab on adhesive, whatever, it's all good. So um, I use this, or this, or Elmer's. Just mist it on the back of your stencils lightly, okay? You don't wanna saturate it lightly, let it dry to attack. So not wet, not dry, sticky, okay? And your stencil will kind of hold in place that much better and it will minimize that squeezy, painty through that goes underneath your stencil that you're trying to avoid, you know? Everybody tries to avoid that, right? Okay, so. Oh. Oh, I love the craft store. Okay, here's another thing. Not a must have, but a little tip for you. I actually had someone ask me um, yesterday about. Deco pop. Okay, so I made a post about um, getting inspiration from scrapbook papers. We may have scrapbook papers here. Um, mm. <laughs> so scrapbook papers, okay. Um, I don't even know what I'm talking about now. I'm thinking about scrapbook paper. Um, so decoupaging scrapbook paper or paper in general, okay. It can be difficult, right? Because the bubbles wrinkle the. Um, it's the sealing part. The water activates, the water-based water, water -based sealer will create bubbles and wrinkles in paper. That's just kind of how it is in science. It's not, not an option. So you can use the iron-on iron method, you know, put on your water-based sealer, iron-on, whatever. But I have a little method that I like to use and it requires spraying with Mod Podge Satin Clear Acrylics Sealer. So I, um, I have poster scrap or scrapbook paper, thick paper is what I'm trying to say. Adhesive, let it dry to attack. Spray the back of your poster or scrapbook paper, okay? Or whatever paper. Apply, okay? And spray with mod, the Mod Podge sealer, with the acrylic sealer. You get very minimal bubbles, and if you do, just use the iron once it's dry and given out, but minimal, minimal fuss, okay? It's not as fussy as brushing on a sealer. Does that make sense? Mm, yes, no, yes, yeah, okay. Let me get some of that too. And, gosh, I'm not seeing my, hmm, my paint. Okay, well, while we're here, 
must have number five or six. I don't know where we're at. One of the must haves is, drum roll please. They may not have it because it's so good. Um, hmm. Okay, anyway, so you see the Art Minds brand. That is Michael's brand. Oh, yes, here we go. Art Minds is Michael's brand. Craft Smart is another one of Michael's brands. Their clear wax for sealing your painted furniture is so cool. Okay, so I think this is like 15 bucks plus 20% off. I've used all the big name waxes. They either require really, really rough buffing. I mean, that's rough on my muscles. Lots of buffing. You have to come back in 15 minutes or 20 minutes and buff in that period of time or else you're like SOL. And it's like, who's got that kind of time? I don't know what I'm going to be doing in 20 minutes. I've been moved on by now. So this, you just take your wax brush, apply it, rub it in real good, let it dry, and air or cure. And it's velvety smooth, super velvety smooth. It's amaze balls, amaze balls. So this is my favorite clear wax of all the clear waxes in the universe. The Michael's spray. But I don't really use... Um, clear wax to seal furniture these days. I mean, I do like it, but I moved on to just top coats. But if you if you do love the waxing, I'm telling you, go to Michael's, get your clear wax. So there's that. Now I'm trying to find the paint that was my favorite to use before owners that owners go. We're going to have to go back and open it because I might have passed it. Oh, they don't have any more. I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm not seeing it, but oh, here, here it is. Damn it, I missed it the first time. What am I talking? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The Martha Stewart decor paint is the bomb.com. Like, um, I don't use it anymore. But if I were to not be a representation, if I was not to represent the paint company that I do and love their paint, I actually love, love, love their paint. But um, if I wasn't, I would probably go back to using the good old Martha, okay? I'm gonna be honest. Vintage decor paint, it's, it's like a chalky style paint, but it's not super chalky, gritty, you know, fingernails on a chalkboard kind of chalky. It's like a, um, smooth chappy, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to open this. Am I going to have to buy it? I want to show you. But I don't know if I can open it. Because it's sealed, right? It's sealed. Vintage paint in it too. Oh, that's good. Well, they're all sealed, obviously, so. Anyways. They got great colors and the coverage is amazing and the feel is amazing. That must be a new one, new color. But anyway, so that's my secret that um, prior to fancy paints, I, oh wait, which one is this? This is one of my favorites, I think. River Rock, yes. River Rock is like the best color. Martha has. It's amazing. Mm, I don't know if you can really see it that well through the bottle, but um, I painted this Moroccan intricate 70s chunky carved looking chest in River Rock and, and another color, a darker blue. It is to this day my favorite piece I've ever painted. True story. So, shh, Martha Stewart's a little hidden gem. Just saying. And I think. We're close to that being, we're close to that being it. I'm gonna do one more round, make sure I didn't forget anything. Cause I, you know, I am thinking one thing I forgot right now. Or Mr. Pastor. Okay, so I'm gonna, got the little foam roller jobby. Got the paint, got the wax, got the spray paint. I'm looking for the gold. Did 
Oh, there's another little roller stencil again. Okay, that will do too. Or that will do also as well, instead of as an alternative. Do they not sell gold things at Michael's anymore? I mean, it's been a while since I've been here, but wait a minute, hold up, what's this? Look, look at this. Would you just look at it? I've never seen this before, heard of it, but I'm definitely getting it. Iridescent acrylic sealer? I mean, <laughs> what? I'm gonna have to get some of that, right? Like, I can't not get iridescent acrylic sealer. And, see, distract me. That's gold leaf. Gold leaf. Okay, so remember the gilding? Um, liquid gilding, gold gilding, liquid leaf I showed you earlier, the Martha Stewart kind. This is the Craft Smart kind, which is um, Michael's brand. It's the exact same thing, it's just in a different <laughs> label. So, it's literally the exact same product. I've used both, so trust me, I know this. Same thing, it's all good. These are cool, okay, spray, you <clears throat> spray, brush, whatever. Get your adhesive on your piece or whatever you're leaving. Let it dry to attack, okay? Not wet, not dry, sticky. Just blast some of that on there and get this really cool flaky gold leaf look, okay? But if you don't want that look, which I already have some of that, so I'm not getting any more. There's gold leaf, okay? So you can order it on Amazon. You can get real gold leaf. Actual, legit gold. Or you can just come to Michael's or whatever craft store you have and get some. This is $10 and I'm going to get 20% off. Okay, so there's two different kinds. There's premium ready gold leaf and there's premium gold leaf, okay? What's the difference? They look the same. Okay, so premium gold leaf is the loose sheets. That's my preference, but I'll use both. The loose sheets you delicately place on the adhesive or premium ready gold leaf. The premium ready, um, the, sh the sheet is actually, it actually has the gold leaf stuck to the sheet. So see the little orange sheets that it's on? This little orange sheets it's on. What you do is you take the sheet, set it on your adhesive, and rub it almost like a transfer. Like you rub the sheet and then you remove the sheet flat out, gold leaf. So, there's loose sheets and there's sheets on sheets. Just kind of depends on what your preference is and your application method really. So, gold leaf, boom. And I think we're done with the must-haves from the craft store. Yeah, we got gold leaf, spray, spray gold, spray gold, spray paint. We got some um, spray adhesive, some gold, gold gilding, some foam rollers, I showed you the paint, I showed you the clear wax, and um, those are kind of my uh, permanent grocery list, pretty much, for um, the poster. So, anyway, I'm gonna say later, y'all, and I'll see you um, next time. Bye! <laughs> for real this time.